Hi guys, this is a Sony A7R III. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because um, the other day that I took uh, one, of, one of my accessories off the bottom of my uh, camera, I noticed that the tripod hole was missing like three quarters of the uh, threads, if not more. I'm not sure if you can really tell right there. Um, anyway, so I figured, you know, and, and the reason it happened is because I over tighten and uh, I'm, I'm guilty of that. Plus, um, I, I, I'm always changing uh, the things that I put on the bottom. Uh, so like uh, sometimes I put it on my gimbal, uh, my different tripods, um, the uh, L bracket, all kinds of different things. I'm always uh, putting this, putting different things on the bottom. And um, I guess I'm not very careful. I over tighten. So I stripped uh, all, you know, all the thread out of there. And I don't want to risk, you know, dropping my camera that I bought almost, that I bought for almost $3,000 about a year ago. Well, no, actually about eight months ago. Um, so anyway, I just don't want to risk, you know, dropping it, you know, like, you know, like having it fall off the tripod or something. So anyway, um, I started doing some research and my camera's actually still under warranty, but I think they would probably consider this you know, like damage that, you know, that I caused, the user cost. So I don't want to fight with anybody. Um, so I started looking at, at prices uh, and it looks like it's about 200 bucks to get that replaced. So I went on eBay and I found uh, that, um, that there's a, just, they sell that piece on eBay. You get it from China. Um, so if you notice uh, the sticker says, ILCEM2. That's for the A7 II. But um, and so when when I first got it, I was like, oh man, I was kind of mad. I was thinking, oh, they sent me the wrong piece, right? Especially because when I was looking at the bottom of this, I saw two holes there. But the actual piece that goes in there, oh, I just dropped it. Sorry about the noise. Um, the piece that that's in there, uh, that goes in there, actually has three holes in it. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and speed this up. So you have to take these screws out, this, uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, well, obviously in this one too. So there's eight, eight screws that you have to take off. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. These little screws, if you drop them, you're going to lose them. You're going to spend like hours trying to find them if you ever find them uh, again. So make sure you're in an area where if it falls, it's not going to, end up on the floor somewhere, especially on carpet, uh, because you will not find these screws anywhere. Um, but anyway, so I'm taking these piece, these screws out. It's not very hard. Okay, so there's three. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose these things. There's another one. And they're not in very tight either. And these are not put on with uh, Loctite. There's, I don't see anything on there. Um, by the way, um, I've heard that if you put some kind of, uh, I don't know, rubber cement or something uh, where these bolts are, these little screws are, that uh, it helps with waterproofing uh, your camera. So there's that plate. And all eight of my screws are still here, so that's a good thing. I'm going to move them out of, this, out of the way a little bit. And so this plate just comes off. See that? Just actually, this kind of just fell out. So here's the, let me put the camera to the side. And there's the inside of your camera. I'm not going to blow anything in there. I'm just going to set it down there. So let's see if we can give, give you a better view of the tripod hole. No, I can't. It's not doing a very good job. So there's no, no thread in there. So um, like I said before, um, it, the piece that goes in there looks like it's the one that also fits the uh, A7 II. At least that's what the packaging said. And so when I take these out, looks like uh, there's a little bit of um, Loctite or something on there. Probably so that if they become loose, they don't fall inside the camera to later time and so i i'm i don't know if if um if sony would have replaced this for free 
or would have considered this uh, damage, you know, user caused uh, damage. I didn't feel like fighting with them. Uh, the piece costs about 18 bucks. You can get it uh, through eBay. Um, you, I don't think, at least I didn't see any, any of these being sold uh, in the United States. All of them were coming from Hong Kong. So here's the old one. Not sure if you can see it. And sorry about the noise. <laughs> and here's one with thread. And here's one without. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's no thread in there. Uh, my stuff, my uh, tripod um, head and everything was was just barely holding holding on here. Not the head, but the uh, bracket was barely holding on. And so here's a good one. So I'm going to put that bad one off to the side. Uh, this goes back in. And so um, you see the little indentations there. This thing only goes in one way. Well, actually, you could put it in this way if you, if you really tried. But it's supposed to go on this side. See the little pieces that kind of stick out a little bit? All right, so it goes in there. So it's the reverse. And the screws that hold on that little uh, that little bracket, they're smaller than the other ones. And there's only three of these. All right, let's see if I drop anything. All right. Tight, not overly tight, says the guy who uh, killed his tripod hole or screw, or whatever the heck that thing is called. I went to the Sony website and they didn't show anything for the A7R3, but they did show something for the um, A7R2. So it looks like um, those are the same thing, or you can order the one that uh, that I, I bought. I'm not sure how much Sony was charging for their piece. So I wanna make sure they're tight enough for them not to fall off at some point. Imagine one of these screws like bouncing inside the camera and I don't know, getting in the way of the shutter or something. That would suck. Okay, so the new piece is in there. Uh, when you pick your camera back up, uh, the hole's gonna go to where this little opening is right here. So it goes in like so. Just push it in. It's not gonna, if I, if I hold the, the camera up, if I pick it up, right side up, it's gonna, uh, that piece is gonna fall off. It's not being held by anything, so. I do this right? Oh, actually I have that backwards. So see the indentations here, the little pieces? That goes uh, in. And looks like it's just a snug fit. So it's not gonna stay, I need to put the screws in there. You put one of them in. It's kind of hard to film and, and do this at the same time. Let's see. I'm having issues here. Let me put the camera down. Oh, all right, let me do that again. There we go, I think this will work. Should stay up like that. Let me put the cover back on. Let's see, here we go. The first one. I'm not gonna tighten that one, it's just barely in. I wanna make sure all the screws are aligned before I start torquing down on these things. And like I said, there's eight screws on the, uh, on the cover. And then on the tripod, um, whoa. Be nice to your camera, mister. Do that again. I think that one grabbed. There we go, that one grabbed this time. Believe it or not, I am pretty gentle with my equipment. It's just that darn tripod hole. And, and the fact that I like to drop it while I'm screwing things into it. Curious as to how many people this has happened to I went on one Sony A7R3 user group on Facebook, and I guess nobody else has had the issue, but I can't I can't be the only one, can I? 
especially if they sell the replacement part, that means it does happen to some people. Um, somebody recommended, you know, well, actually they said online that they just um, put an L bracket on and just never take it off. Problem solved. So maybe that's what I should do. But it, it, but my camera goes from different modes. Sometimes it's kind of stealthy. I like to just put like a little 35 millimeter on there. Um, other times, um, I, you know, if I, if I do some landscape work, I'm doing using a 7200 or doing some sports. Um, I also have a 7300 that I use as well. So my camera always looks kind of different every every time I take it out. Sometimes I have the Peak Design bracket on the bottom, uh, so it's hanging off my backpack. Uh, other times, uh, like I said, it's kind of stealthy. Uh, I'll put a little tiny lens, no L bracket. It looks like a little, you know, tiny cheap camera actually when it's set up that way. So I think... Okay, looks like everything's done. So, um, brand new. Uh, little tripod hole, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be nicer to this one. Um, I'm, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do it on camera right now, is um, on the edges here, um, there's been a few people that have mentioned to put some rubber cement or, or some kind of compound in there that'll stop any any water from going in. Um, not that I've ever had any issues with mine. I, I, mine is, I've gotten mine pretty wet. I mean, I'm not, I haven't dunked it but um, it's never had any issues. But I'm gonna go back and put some rubber cement or something in there for additional sealing and also over the these little screws right there. All right, um, A7R3, tripod hole replacement. Hopefully this helps uh, somebody. And I'm gonna put a link um, in for the replacement piece that uh, I bought. And I got two of them um, because I just, I got a feeling I'm gonna end up messing this one up too. All right guys, have a great evening or day, or morning, or whatever. Bye.